there are already enough empirical evidences to claim that the balance between humans and animals has become lopsided. Biodiversity and our symbiotic relationship with it is undeniably in danger. In our quest for development, we have caused an irreparable damage to wild animals and their habitats. So much so that several species of wild animals and birds are very close to the verge of extinction. Extinctions are happening at a dramatically faster rate than they have over the past tens of millions of years. An estimated quarter of all species on Earth are at risk of being lost, many within next few decades. And to perhaps atone for our sins, scientists are now trying to revive species that have become long extinct. Today is World Wildlife Day and on this occasion we bring to you top 5 species that are critically endangered and are extremely vulnerable to go extinct in near future. Other than this, we will also tell you about the possibility of the concept of de-extinction which is related to the scientists trying to revive species that have long gone extinct. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to InDepth. The red list of IUCN divides species into 9 categories on the basis of endangerment. Apart from IUCN, the WWF also prepares its own list of such species which are in grave danger. Now let's look at the top 5 critically endangered species. The first one is the Saola. Often called the Asian Unicorn, little is known about the enigmatic Saola in the two decades since its discovery. non existent captivity. Scientists have categorically documented Saola in the wild on only four occasions till date. Saola was discovered in May 1992 during a joint survey carried out by the Ministry of Forestry of Vietnam and WWF in North Central Vietnam. This find proved to be the first large mammal new to science in more than 50 years and one of the most spectacular zoological discoveries of the 20th century. Saola has striking white markings on the face and large maxillary glands on the muzzle which could be used to mark territory or attract mates. They are found only in the Anamite mountains of Vietnam and Laos. The next in list is the Great Indian Bustard. It is the state bird of Rajasthan and is considered India's most critically endangered bird. It is considered the flagship grassland species representing the health of the grassland ecology. Its population is confined mostly to Rajasthan and Gujarat. Small populations occur in Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. The Great Indian Bustard is among the heaviest of flying birds in existence. At one point of time, the Great Indian Bustard was widespread throughout the dry plains of the subcontinent. But today, due to poaching and habitat loss, they number not more than 150 as per a 2018 survey. But conservation efforts for it in India are in full swing. Many sanctuaries such as the Rane Bennur Black Buck Sanctuary, Desert National Park in Gujarat, Kutch Bird Sanctuary and Great Indian Bustard Sanctuary in Maharashtra have now a sizable population of the Great Indian Bustard. Third are the North Atlantic Right Whale. They are gentle giants that stay close to coasts and spend a lot of time at the surface skim feeding on zooplankton, all of which makes them an easy target and the right whale to hunt. They were almost wiped out by hunters after their meat and oil-rich fat known as blubber and are now one of the most endangered large whales. It was whalers who gave the North Atlantic right whales its name. There are currently only around 400 of them left and only about 100 breeding females. They are now protected and hunting is illegal, but population recovery is very slow. Females don't breed for the first 10 years of their life and then they will give birth to a single calf every 6 to 10 years. They are very much at the risk of extinction, with boat strikes and entanglement in fishing gears being some of the biggest threats to them. Fourth in the list are sea turtles. Two species of sea turtles are critically endangered on the IUCN red list of threatened species. These are hawksbill turtle and Kemp's ridley turtles. Hunting is one of the biggest threats to sea turtles with poachers targeting their eggs, shells, meat and skin. They are also at risk from habitat loss, bycatch and pollution as well as climate change. Sand temperature determines the sex of hatchlings with eggs developing as females in warmer temperatures. That means even small temperature changes could skew the sex ratio of populations. Furthermore, breeding beaches could disappear underwater with sea level rise. The fifth one is tooth-billed pigeon. Following the example of the relative extinct dodo, tooth-billed pigeons are disappearing at an alarming rate. They only live on Samoa Island and there are currently 70 to 380 left in the wild with no captive populations to aid conservation efforts. Very little is actually known about tooth-billed pigeons. They are elusive and very rarely seen. In the past, hunting has played a big part in their decline and has killed thousands of individuals. It is illegal today, but tooth-billed pigeons are still killed accidentally during hunt for other species. Currently, one of their main threats is habitat loss. Large areas of their home have been cleared to make space for agriculture, destroyed by cyclones or taken over by invasive trees. They are also at risk of predation from invasive species including feral cats. 
Now, let's delve in the subject of de-extinction. The term basically refers to revive a sample of some of the species that have long been extinct. A biotechnology company named Colossal in Texas is at the forefront of this seemingly impossible challenge. It had first garnered headlines for its plan to de-extinct the woolly mammoth last year. De-extinction is not exactly what it sounds like. Rather than bringing back lost species, it's more of a process to create their high-tech look alike. The process by which species and organisms that were once extinct are created typically through cloning. It is also called resurrection biology or species revivalism. For this to work, DNA from the particular species is required as well as a pinch of molecular bioengineering. In fact, the first milestone was achieved in 2003 when European scientists resurrected the Pyrenean ibex, a type of mountain goat that had gone extinct a few years earlier. Although they were able to resurrect it just for 7 minutes, but it was a major boost towards revival. In America, scientists are working on bringing back the passenger pigeon, a rosy-breasted bullet of a bird that once flogged in the billions, and the heath hen, a stumpy avian wallflower that lived in the scrubby plains of New England. In the UK, researchers are considering whether or not to bring back the so-called penguin of the north, the great auk. Colossal Biosciences claims that it has come a step closer to reviving the dodo, a flightless bird that has been extinct since the 17th century. They are also mulling revival of the Tasmanian tiger. Although no creature has been revived yet, except for a brief moment, the Pyrenean ibex, but the futuristic plan is already in full swing, and maybe decades later, we might see revival of a sample of extinct species. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you so much for watching.